You'll find them at campsites, tanning beds, and glow parties, which sounds like a really interesting day for just one person. This week, we're exploring the illuminating science of black light. Have you memorized this one by now? Well, as you can imagine by name alone, we're focusing just outside the visible light spectrum. Shorter wavelength, big difference. There are three types of UV light. UVA, or black light, UVB, which causes sunburn, and UVC, which has even shorter wavelengths but gets filtered through the atmosphere and never reaches the ground. Still a concern for astronauts, though. Nearly all the UV light from the sun that gets to us falls not in that second category, but rather the first. Most UVA black lights come in fluorescent form. A small amount of mercury added to the tube emits photons in the UV range, but a special coating makes it visible again. Enough light still gets through the coating that it makes other objects glow. The actual glowing effect comes from molecules called phosphors. It basically includes any substance that gives off visible light in response to radiation. Now, don't get too scared about that word, of course. Make no mistake, UV light is still radiation, but so is every other form of light. Perhaps your skin in summertime is testament to that radiation. Anyway, when light hits a phosphor, it makes an electron jump to a higher energy level, releasing heat and a smaller amount of energy as it falls back into place. The light it gives off is in our visible spectrum, leading to those psychedelic color combos. Your white t-shirt's a good example, but that's because modern detergents have those phosphors, giving them that whiter than white look even in regular sunlight. Law enforcement uses UV light to find anything from bodily fluids at a crime scene, counterfeit money, and even forgeries of historic artifacts since older paints don't have those phosphors. Clubs, theme parks, Halloween displays. You can find examples in pretty much every facet of life, and that also goes for plants and animals. Some fruits like ripe bananas will also glow under UV light, and it's thought that might attract animals like fruit bats who don't perceive light in our range. As for animals themselves, more than 125 mammal species alone have been found to fluoresce under UV light. We'll cover that in a future episode. For this week's Moment of Science, I'm Dan Smith. Very timely, given the yeah. fact that it's Halloween. Yeah, and as soon as you're in a black light, you go, oh, look at, look at, look at, look at. There look you it. go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us here for Action News at 4. Action News at 5 is up next.